Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Matt from the Glove Bros. Coming to you guys another video today. Uh, it's going to be an update on this Rawlings Hard to Hide Pro AR3. As you guys can see, uh, I did the hot water treatment on this yesterday. Just wanted to show you guys the progress this thing's made. It's coming along beautifully. It completely closes over a ball traditional. And it goes right to the ring finger, exactly how I like the gloves, and so does the owner. Uh, so that's why he had me break it in. Traditional, this is ridiculous. It's one of the nicest traditional pockets um, I've ever done. Um, he's going to be holding it two in the pinky, he says. Uh, finger on the finger pad. That's how I like to hold a lot of my gloves. Because uh, especially Rawlings, I do really like the finger pads. Even though this one is just um, leather, uh, it's not like now. It's like the Porn XRD and it's super soft. Still nice though. Um, let's double hinge break in. Pretty nice, I think. Uh, dried it out. Nice. Um, luckily, we had such a nice day yesterday. Uh, so it dried in about probably about 10 hours. Um, I left it in my truck overnight, and it was um, 97 today. And uh, my truck said it was 122 when I started it in the truck. So uh, this thing dried out pretty quick. Um, it's beautiful. This lace stretched very nicely. Um, not gotten brittle or anything from the water treatment. A lot of people say they have trouble with it. Um, not here. And if you do have that problem, just throw a little bit of conditioner on it, you know. Uh, it's not that serious. Uh, little uh, lace is just as important as the leather. Uh, needs to be conditioned. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think the water treatment was 100% success um, in this one. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I think it does still sit up. Yeah, it does. Um, but yeah, I love this glove. Um, the only thing that did happen was the top of the numbers. I'm going to try to focus in on for you guys. Uh, top of the numbers did fade slightly. Um, but I, I talked to the owner and uh, he really doesn't care. I'm pounding the crap out of it. That's why it looks a little dirty. Um... When you're done with the uh, water treatment, I like to condition my gloves uh, just lightly. Um, I have uh, Wilson Mink Oil, and I also have um, the Nakona conditioner, like a lot of you guys. Um, uh, if you don't have the Wilson Mink Oil, I would say uh, try it out. Uh, it's great, especially for um, colored gloves. If you have like a red, a blue uh, glove like that, it really brings back the color and it keeps it. And with the black, ooh, makes the black look so clean. Um, so I'm probably going to condition this. Um, sorry, you guys. This is the only glove you've been seeing. But uh, when we get gloves, as far as project gloves, we like to show you guys because uh, I'm not going to have them in my possession for too long. Uh, this one's going back to the owner tomorrow. And um, he's going to be paying me uh, for this. So um, I really don't want to give this back. I love this glove so much. Um, I tried to offer some trades, but uh, he's not listening to it. Um, he doesn't know what dime he has on his hand. This is a perfect pattern for a shortstop and um, small third baseman's glove because it's 11-7. But as you can tell, it plays, it plays about a true 11-7. It's not near the size of my Pro 200 at the 12, but uh, it's pretty good. So, yeah, um, guys, if you don't already, please check out our Instagram, at the Glove Bros. Uh, we're so close to getting 2,000 followers. At 2,000 followers, we'll be releasing um, how you can enter our giveaway for a Wilson A2000 DP15. Uh, basically, new without tags. Um, so, check that out. Also, we'll be releasing our skills videos. Um, I know you guys have been asking about that. Uh, we'll do skills videos. Uh, whenever we get to 400 subscribers on here, uh, we'll do something. 400 or 500, we'll do like a Q&A or a day in the life, something like that. Um, so, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, and um, be ready for tomorrow. We're going to have some new videos um, with some other gloves that you guys haven't seen yet or haven't seen in a while. So, uh, till tomorrow. Thanks, guys.